Are you okay? This lock, it's trapped me three times now. Still so afraid of the dark. I thought only children fear darkness as much. I will ask her gay to install a light for you. <gasps> that costs money, Anastasia, and I do not have a shoe and pose. You're already so gracious to allow us to stay with you. Then perhaps he can repair the lock so you can live in peace. Surely this basement has become your greatest fear. No. He felt very bad and one fear is greater. My only fear is that you and the children will starve before dinner. It is nearly eight o'clock. That is Razmig. He is. Working. Does it hurt? Can I kiss it, make it feel better? Yeah, I'll bet. i let that baby cry. Our man, why do you just stand there while your brother cries? He always cries. You are his big brother. When he cries, you must help him. But I didn't do it. Our man, you are the oldest. You must always protect your family. Do you understand? Stop! Why do you run from me, Roswig? You have my money, duh. This is sad news. Where is Clyde? I will. I will go home and I will. I will get it for you right now. I will pay you every ruble, I promise. Vatron, you live in the cravat home. You sleep on the floor like a dog. I know where you live. I know where your children sleep. And I know that you're a good thief. So, I'm counting on you. I will have my money. And where is the birthday boy, huh? Oh. Razmik? What is this? A birthday cake. What does it look like? Kovan's birthday isn't until Saturday. It's bad luck to celebrate early. <laughs> bad luck. Bad is the only kind of luck we've ever had. What's a little more? What? What are you looking at? It's a party, huh? Why are you so worried? I'm always worried when you're out, Pastor. Boy! Come here! Huh? You want cake? Yeah, huh? Okay, Mama, you cut. Ah, uh, I, uh... I have to get out of these clothes, huh? Be right back. We can't keep it running. We have nowhere else to go. Two. What I do, it's no business of yours, woman. Are we in danger? Mm -hmm. You don't have the right. 
Look at me. Look at me. The things that I have done for this family. To feed you. To feed if my children. children are in danger, I have a right to know. <laughs> you will speak nothing of this. Do you understand? Business be on your head. Huh? Is that what you want? You want us to be on the streets again? No. 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 So guess what? You go downstairs and you go be with the children. Whatever it is you are about to do, don't do it. favorite words. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Get the Don't eat piece. it all at once. That is good. Now, Uncle Sergei oh, is going to eat your cake. <laughs> Surely, he is in danger. And he puts you and the children in danger. The police will catch him one day. He is guilty of many crimes. And he pulls you into it. They will take the children. You will never see them again. Razmik is like a fox. He will not be caught. You must leave him. Where would we go that he would not find us? And what then? Happy birthday. Now, you will always remember that you are in your mama's heart. Thank you, mama. <laughs> Good night, my babies. Oh, my handsome Havan. Mama. When will Papa come home? Soon, Sarah. Soon. Will you sing to us? It is late. You must sleep. <laughs> Please, Mama, one song. Just one? Frightened little eyes, why do you fear? You feel you're all alone, but my love is still near. The light has gone, and darkness has come, but the sun will rise again. Sleepy little eyes. Close and find sweet rest, dream a tender dream Until we meet again, the light has gone And darkness has come, but the morning will return And we will be together again Mm -hmm. 
Luck is with you again. Where are you going? I would love to take the shirt from your back, Alexander, but it's uh, it's my son's birthday party tonight. I must go. Uh, he will have more parties. Sit, please. I must go. Good night. Triple. I will bet triple against your double. A year's wages with one bet, eh? Enough to provide a home for your family, the good life. What better present to bring home to your boy? Flintlock was a very nice rifle in 1817. Does it fire? You don't want to find out. Actually, I do. I'm a bit of a collector. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry. I wish to see if a bullet can squeeze through all that rust in the barrel. Armin, you must run and not look back. Go find Anastasia. Mama. Armen, you are the oldest. You must protect Hovan and Surab. Promise me. Yes, Mama. I don't think this man is a killer. No beats in your up. Stay back! Go, go now! What about you? I cannot fit. I will come another way. I was right. Kill him. I love you. And the children? They are safe. For now. <coughs> Gorosha, Anastasia, you must take the children to Spitak in Armenia. They will be safe there with my cousin. Take on this address quickly. Armen. No. 
Немедленно поднимите этих девочек наверх. Заткнись ты, не ори! Достаточно. Вставай. Как дела, заяц? Did not pay the fee. They trying to steal from us? I did not know there was a bathroom fee. <laughs> Какой идиот! Куш тут за фи? Ты сигареты? Пей up. I I do not have. Huh. That is not good for anyone. Toilet. Hit me again, Urod. Hit me again! Please, please, please! Sir, please! Children! You too, ah! Come! Get this! I'm so sorry! You must not fight. I am the protector. But if you fight, you could die. But then it's Saran and Havan, huh? You have no papers. If they are found, they will be separated. Where is my mama? What did this place? I am with you, child. I will protect you. Hospital. 
business? I, I'm sorry? What is your business in Armenia? I am visiting my cousin. Are you transporting? I'm in my what? Guns, drugs, alcohol. Are you transporting anything? No, I, all, I wish to visit my cousin. She is ill. Go forward. Inspection. What's in the back? Please, sir. I only wish to visit my family. Let's take a look. I have three children, Araman, Siran, and Hovan. I will see my children again. I have three children, Araman, Siran, and Hovan. I will see my children again. not surprise me that Rosmik has found trouble. He always knew where to find it. And the mother, there is she. She is surely dead. They cannot stay with me. Those men will come back for them. No one must know they're here. I want to help you, Anastasia, but I'm poor. I have barely enough food for myself. How can I care for these children? It will only be a few days, two weeks at most. If I take them back to Highcroft, they will surely die. Please. They're a family. Oh, 
trying to get us caught again. What do you think? Next time, I'll let the dogs finish you. Von Vai. I was looking for Mama. She called for me. I heard her. I... Havan, I know you miss her. We all do. But you must understand that it was only a dream. Mama is not here. And she is not coming back. Afsana is all that we have now. And we will lose her too if you continue to go outside at night. Do you understand? The police will take us from her. Ее зуб. Там инфекция. Позаботься об этом. В таком состоянии уже два дня. Она мертва. Почти. Мужчины, они больше не хотят ее. Избавься от нее. Hello, beautiful. How was your nap? My name is Naomi. I've been looking after you. You are recovering very nicely. You have been through much. Please try to rest. It's the very best thing for you now. It's okay. It's all right. Just doctor! Just doctor! Doctor! Lord, I don't know what she's been through, but you do. And I trust you, God. I thank you for her healing that she will wake up soon. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Good morning, sister. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, Mama, please. 
Good morning, princess. Hungry? Yes. So, what is your name? Anna. That's beautiful. That mark, what does it mean? The cross? It means many things. Hope, forgiveness, restoration, salvation. It's a symbol of the love of Christ. Some of those men for that mark. There was no love there. No hope. Sadly, not all who wear the cross of Christ have the heart of Christ. Are you all right? I must find my children. You have children? In Harkov. I must go to them. Yes. Yes, yes, I indeed you must. So, your children, they are in Kharkov, yes? Yes, I must go to them. So it would seem, but you cannot leave the country. Not today. You have no papers. Everything was taken from me. These, these are my papers. Yes. These are your papers, completed by you. You can say anything here. It, maybe you don't even have children, hmm? It must all be verified. This takes time. Every word is true, I, I swear. <laughs> Please, sir, my children, they need me. Your children have been without you for three years. What is three weeks more? We will get you home. But it must be done properly. <coughs> so, <coughs> we must also require a complete health examination. And what of these men who did this? We must go to the authorities. It is not safe to call them. This is not a simple matter of a few street thugs and cock off. The men who did this to you, they. They do not work alone. How do you suppose they brought you into this country with them, hmm? Are, are you saying the authorities are involved? Not all, not most, but some, yes. We are dealing with a global organization here. You have no idea how high this crime goes. What do you want? Mom, can your children come out? There are no children here. I have seen them. Why do they not come outside? I told you, there are no children here. Now go. Yes, Mom. I'm sorry, Opsana. It is Havan. Sometimes he goes outside at night. He, he means no harm. Dear Jesus, he only needs his mom. Why so troubled, David? There are children in the village. They wish to play, but their mother won't let them outside. It is unusual. She says she has no children. But David, sometimes... People's lives can be complicated. We will pray for your friends today, yes? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Anastasia? Yes, I'm Sarah. Anastasia. 
я была моей мамой. Сара, are you well? It is Anna. Anna, you are alive. Yes, I'm looking for the children. Are they with you? Oh, Anna, no. I am so sorry. They are not here. Anastasia feared that those men would return for them, so she took them and fled. Where are are they safe? I, I don't know. Armenia, I think, but I cannot be sure. She never spoke of it. Where is she? I must speak with her. Anna, she is dead. Papa too. I'm so sorry. Hello? Hello. Is this the European Mission Center? Oh. oh. Yes, indeedy. I can, how can I help you? A woman under my care has lost her children, and we believe they may be somewhere in Armenia. I am hoping you can help us locate them. Mm, that's not really what we do here. We equip and uh, support missionaries. I understand. You have missionaries in Armenia, right? Well, yeah, sure, several. Then perhaps they could help search for the children. Listen, I'd love to help you, but finding children is not in our wheelhouse. Have you tried calling the police? No. The children have no passports, so we cannot involve the police. Oh, they're undocumented? Oh, you didn't mention that earlier. Do you realize that children that are undocumented in Armenia and you do not want to be accused of kidnapping children over there. Pastor, please. These children, they have been without their mother for three years. They are surely lost and afraid. If you refuse to help, they have no hope. Oh, I see. Well, listen, I, I can't make any promises, but I can make some phone calls. Oh, thank you, Pastor. Okay, let me get a pen. All right, what's the address? No address. You have no address? Do you know what city they're in? No. Ooh, just Armenia. Okay. You do realize Armenia is a big country, right? Yes, I, I understand. Any idea who those relatives might be? Their father is from Armenia, but his family moved to Ukraine years ago. The children are likely staying with relatives. You don't have any idea who those relatives are? No. I'm sorry. Okay, well listen, I can't promise you anything, but I will make some calls. How bad is it? Cancer is spreading rapidly. It is very severe. I see. And what do your papers tell you? That you should be dead already? You have experienced much abuse. Most women would not have survived it. The doctors, they, they cannot explain why you're still alive. But these papers, they say I'll recover, yes? I wish that were true. With all of my heart. But I'm afraid they say that you don't have much time. We will process your health report and get back to you shortly. In the meantime, you must complete these forms. Application for refugee status? What is this? It is an application for refugee status. 
No, no, no. I do not wish to apply for refugee status. I wish to go home to my children. This is a problem because you cannot go home until your papers are processed. And you cannot remain in Amsterdam without refugee status. So it would seem you have no choice. You said my papers would be processed in three weeks. It has been nearly one month. I will wait. That was before this. Serious illnesses cause delays with international travel. How much longer? It is hard to say. Your health must improve. Four to six weeks, perhaps. Four to six weeks? Thank you for your assistance. <coughs> we trust that you would do everything in your power to expedite your papers. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. It has been a joy to meet with you all this week and to learn about all that God is doing through your ministries. Now, as we've discussed, our Lord often uses unusual people, unusual circumstances, and unusual methods to accomplish his plans for our lives. This is why we must go into all the world and preach the gospel unto every creature. Sorry, Remember, I we are to be steadfast. What? Listen, she's speaking, Bill. I understand. Okay. Have your respect. Stop. Yes. Always a man. Look at him. Stop it. There he in is. the work of the Lord. God often sends us those whose sufferings are great to bear. Okay. That's just embarrassing. No. Uh, sorry, can I take it outside? Please. Please, please tell him to take it outside. Please. Let him please. go. Take it. Please. Take it. Sorry. Nice hat. Sorry. Norm, Norm, it's a bad time. Uh, it's a very bad time, brother. Hey, buddy, I'm glad you finally picked up. Are you still at the conference? Yes, yes, we're just, uh, we're closing now, and then I'm driving back to Yerevan. Can we talk then? So everyone's still there? Yes, of course. Oh, great, listen, I've got a favor to ask. What did he tell you? He just said he believes that her children who are missing are in Armenia, but he didn't know where. Okay. Then we must do what we can to help this family. I believe God's power is right here in our midst. When God calls us, he also equips us. Is there anyone here that has any thoughts? about where these lost lambs might be. Anyone? Hello, Petros. How was the meeting? It was very, very good. The 11 nations represented this year, 11. I am traveling back to Yerevan. I'm going to drop Pastor Bill at the airport before he has a heart attack. And um, then I'll be coming home. I'll be a little late. Is everything okay? A woman had three children taken from her. And we are thinking maybe they are in Spitak. So you are a private investigator now? No, I'm sure it's nothing. But uh, we're going to have a look and see. Okay. See you tonight. What is this? This is Spitak, brother. In 1988, a devastating earthquake destroyed it. 25,000 Armenians dead, hundreds of thousands homeless. This, this is what remains. Hello, my sister. 
We are looking for three children who are staying with an older woman. Perhaps do you know where they might be? I don't think she understands. I still shut your hand. Watch me get a get a hind point room. A space? Ha. I still shut your hand. Thank you. Mutineers. Excuse me. God bless you. I think we're going down here. What are you doing? Yo, yo, you can't, you can't just peek in through the window like that. Bill, why are you so stressed? Americans have all the money and no peace. Look at you. I, it's very sad. We don't have a problem with peace. We have a problem with invasion of privacy. I'm not going in there, you hear me? Hi. Pedros, I think we're drawing attention. Hey. Hey. No, it's, it's uh, I'm waiting for my friend who's trespassing, I'm sure, in the next container, and I'm sure we're gonna get caught, go to jail. I heard Armenian jail's nice. Yeah, it's okay though, we'll share a cell. It's all right, uh, Pedros, I'm gonna wait for you in the car, all right? See you later. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, big, big doggy. Uh, I'm not the one trespassing, it's my friend back there. Okay, oh, okay. Well, come on, let's go. Seriously? Armenians. <laughs> Okay, buddy, you know what? I think we've knocked on enough doors, done a ton of trespassing, and I almost got killed back there. So uh, what do you say we call it a day and get to the airport? I saw my daughter in there, Bill. What? In my mind, she was huddled and alone and frightened, no mama or papa to help her. There are three children living in this village like that right now, and we're going to drive wherever we need to and knock on every last door until we find them. I have a plane to catch. I know where they are. Hello. I am Pastor Bedros from Yerevan. You were taken from your home, yes? Could you tell me what your mother's name is? I have good news for you. I know where she is. No, she she's not. She's dead. You were made to believe this, but it's not true. She lives. Your mother lives. And she has never, ever stopped thinking of you. Would you like to speak to her? Hello? Hi, Naomi. It's Pedro's. Can Anna talk? Can she speak? Now? Yes. Yes. It's for you? Okay, go. Arma? It's Mama. Can you hear me, baby? Are you there? My sister, he cannot speak right now. He hears you and he knows your voice, but they are not well. We will help them, we will take care of them, and you will see them again. Well? 
What did he say to you? Nothing. It's them, Bedros. How amazing is that, man? I mean, how miraculous is that? It's impossible. Why are you crying? You're a grown man. How is this possible? How are you not crying? I mean, come on. It's amazing. I don't cry. I don't cry. Okay, look, I don't know about Armenian hearts of steel, but I'm in touch with my emotions, all right? And this, this tells me that it's time to shout, okay? Rejoice. And it's time to cry, because that's amazing. Yes, it's very amazing, but you're scaring the goats. Please, just Americans. You took the children? Yes, of course. They could not survive there. Okay, but they have no papers. No parents. What if the police had stopped you? Do you know what happens then? You go to prison for trafficking. Yes, I understand. What would have become of you if the police had stopped you? Anush, these children technically don't even exist. They don't have a home. They don't have parents. They have nothing. Where, where could I take them? Bedros, no, no, no. You must tell me that your heart did not grow so big that your brain disappeared completely. Anush. They're small, and they're weak. And if we don't help them, they will die. We have to try to help them. We have only this tiny apartment. It barely holds us. Look, look. You tell me, where would they sleep? Who will care for them? Who will feed them? We have our baby, now four. Oh, four children. Pedros, Pedros. God will provide. Okay. Congratulations. <coughs> Your immigrant status has been approved. Amsterdam is now your home. Brother Pedros and his family are doing what they can, but for now, these children are part of our church family and they need help. If, if you agree, we will bring the children. Come, come. They will live at the church and we will care for them until they are reunited with their mother. But we must warn you, as undocumented children, if they are found, there could be great consequences. Yes. We could lose our church. Some could go to prison. Kohar and I understand this. And we accept it. Is anyone else willing to help? I can cook. I will provide meals for the children. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Our children are grown. Their beds are old, but they may have them. I have books. I can tutor them. Thank you. I will provide clothing. Thank you. Thank you. Today, we are going to continue working on our English. Okay? Havan, can you tell me what this says? Oh. Sound it out. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, very good. Good yes. Miss Kohar, this is Jesus. Do you know of Jesus, Sada? I've someone spoke of him often. Yes? All the time it was thanks be to Jesus. Help us, Jesus. These children are driving me crazy, Jesus. <sighs> but we did not know it was from a book. Well, if this is all that you know of Jesus, I have some very exciting things to tell you. 
Why did you not come for us all of these years? Baby, I could not. Stay away, I... Mama. You are unclean. And now look at us. Why did you not protect us? Mama. Yes, baby. Mama is here. Why did you not come for us? Did you stop loving us? I wanted to come for you. Every day my heart was with you. You did not need us. Now we do not need you. You are dirty and shameful for the things you have done. We have no mother. Herman, please, I... Enough of this honor. You must call them. They do not wish to speak to me. Their hearts have turned against me. You do not notice. I can feel it. Feelings cannot always be trusted. Especially like this. When you lie in darkness, darkness lies to you. Honor. Honor. You are the strongest woman in all of Amsterdam. For three years you have not given up on these children and now this? You are dying. Honor. Without your great hope you are dying. Will this be your legacy? to come so close only to give up. I have met hundreds of women just like you. Stolen, abused, broken. I cried out to God every night. How could he let this happen? I told him I could take no more. But then he sent me home. He told me to help you give you the love and the friendship that I wish all these women could have. He has renewed my hope through you. You want to cry? Fine. But cry into this. If they hate me, I cannot bear it. If you do not speak to them, they will always hate you in here. And what if you are wrong? Hmm? Let them speak for themselves. Then you will finally know. Man, I'm so sorry for what has happened to you. 
and your brother and sister and I'm so sorry for what has become of me. Mama. Y yes, our man. Mama, we have found Jesus. Saran, Havan, and I. You found Jesus? We are well, Mama. We miss you. Oh, I miss you too, our man, so much. Thank you, Jesus, for the beautiful hearts of my children. I love you, our man. I love you too. Mama, we oh, love you. I miss you too, my babies. I will come to you soon, very soon. Please come, Mama. I wish to meet him. You will. Very soon you will be with all three again. Jesus, I wish to meet you, Lord Jesus. Uh, this is not a good idea. Which part? All of it. Your request for international travel. I cannot recommend it. I do not understand. Anna, it is your health. You have been in a steady state of decline for months. Your cancer is now worse than it was before. She has a strength I have never seen before. We cannot deny her hope. Well, I can, unfortunately. In your condition, you cannot handle such travel. I cannot approve it, not in good conscience. You should be in bed. Fitting to die? Please, these are my children. They need me, I'm well enough to travel, I promise. I am sorry, but this tells me you are not. What good is it to your children if you arrive in Amenia dead? No, you are too weak. Work on your recovery. If your health improves, we will reconsider, but for now, we wait. How long? 12 months, 18 perhaps. I'm too weak to travel? Oh no. What about now? Is no, 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 strong enough no. Take you? your seat. Maybe this? No, 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 stop. Oh no, oh no, oh, no. stop. Restrain her, or I will call the that police. That is a beautiful computer. Oh, no. Ah, uh, don't you dare. Don't, 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 don't you touch that. Hey, hey, hey. You will not keep me from my children. If you refuse to let me fly, I This is criminal vandalism. I could sue you for damages. I will not authorize your travel, woman. You would not survive it. But I will make some calls. Perhaps we can arrange to bring the children here. His heart. We were playing football and then he fell. I heard a crack. This looks bad. She's going to have to see a doctor. Impossible. Without paper, no doctor will see him. They will call the police. Pedros, you know this. It's too dangerous. What choice do we have? God is performing a miracle with his children. He will provide. Don't worry. Come, our man, you're very brave. Thank you both. You did the right thing to tell me. Come, kids. Let's go to pray. Dr. Sasha is an excellent doctor. Don't worry. Petros. Dr. Sasha. It's great to see you, my brother. It's a long time, yes. What brings you in today? Um, I have a special situation I'm hoping that you can help me with. 
Oh my goodness. They don't have any papers. I don't have any paperwork. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could help. Your compassionate heart has gotten you into trouble once again, I see. <laughs> yes, my wife reminds me. <laughs> I believe he's going to be okay. There will be no need for the papers. I will handle it. Thank you, brother. I will pay you in cash. No, no pay. You are doing your part, and I will do mine. It is my honor. I owe God much for the mercy and kindness he has shown me and my family. Your arm feels better? Yes. Yes. God is great. Brother Sarkis, all is good. His arm is on the mend. We are coming home. Yes, I'll be home shortly. Uh, hold, uh, don't go. I have another call. I think it is the doctor. Wait, okay, I'll be back. Hello? Pedro Stepanyan? Yes. This is Agent Jirajir Avigan in SS. We have heard from the Netherlands government of three undocumented children who were taken from their home. We believe they are in your possession, yes? Yes. We are going to bring you into the department for interview. Follow the escort vehicle. Yes, I, I see him. For your own safety, do not try to flee. Brother Sarkis, tell the children to keep praying. I uh, didn't know how long I will wait uh, here many hours, and uh, my throat is a little dry. Is it possible to get a glass of water, please? You are a citizen of Armenia, yes? Yes. Then you understand we have absolutely no tolerance for kidnappers. Children are a nation's greatest treasure. Anyone who would dare to take them must be punished to the fullest extent of the law. It is not what you think. I did not take the children. <laughs> Yet. You have them. Yes, but I did not take them from their home. Where did you take them from? From their home, but not their ha! true home. They were staying with a woman in Spitak. They were weak and sick, and I could see they could not live long if they stayed there. You took them forcibly? No, she begged us to take them. She had nothing, no food, no medicine. She knew they would die if they lived there. The boy, his testimony confirms what you say. That was his mother's. Now, what you have done is a crime, you understand? Punishable by life in prison. With the knot of my head, two men will come through that door and take you from this room, and you will never see the shining sun again, huh? But I too am a papa. Three beautiful girls. If they were taken from me, I would not sleep until I had hunted down the abductors and personally executed them in the open square. But if I found them in the care of a man like you, who would risk his own life to keep them safe until I could find them, I would call that man my friend. I will do what I can to help you unite them with their mama. You've done your part. I will do mine. I've spoken with the officials in Holland, and they have granted the children temporary visas for seven days only. These applications for the children's papers must be complete and approved before then. Now, it can take months to process these papers. Their mama doesn't have months. She has weeks to live, days perhaps. So you must 
complete these forms as quickly as possible. And I will expedite the processing. Their flight leaves seven days from now. The children must be on this plane. I have extended myself greatly to create this opportunity. I cannot duplicate the process. If they are not on this flight, it could be years before their papers are processed. They will never see their mama again. You understand? This plane is their only hope. I understand. Thank you for your goodness. I have shown no kindness. We have only done what I deem right according to the rules of Armenian law. Go. Go. And friend, this organization is not recognized for its compassion but for the firm enforcement of the law. Best to keep it that way, huh? Of course. How are you feeling, sister? Well enough to go with you. I, I wish this were true, but you need this for your recovery. I will bring the children to you quickly, all right? I forgive them. Who? Those men who did this. God has brought us to him. Who am I to question his face? I pray for them every day. <coughs> that they too may know the light and hope of Christ. Truly, you are the strongest woman I have ever met. Do you really believe this? With all of my heart. Then take me with you. Why should I die here alone, waiting? No. No. Absolutely no. We're here. We're going to miss you. Before we leave, I want you to promise me, to promise us, that you will never, ever forget the miracle that God has done here. And just remember, whenever you are fearful, no matter what, He always, always prepares a way for His children. Okay, let's go catch a plane. Are you ready to fly? Yes! Yes! Hello. Passports? The children don't have passports. Uh, these documents is all they have. They must have passports. Yes, uh, I understand, we understand. But this is a, a special case. Um, we have official documentation and special arrangement with the Armenian government. They do not fly without passports. You must let them through. Their mother has been sick. Please! Anush. Come with me. No, no, Come please. with me. No, no, she's you harmless. Come now. She's harmless. No, no. Anush, Anush. What? You come now, please. Please, sir. I'm sorry, we did not mean to cause disruption, and it is absolutely critical that these children board this plane. Do you know how many travelers fly out of Zvotsnots each year? 
A hundred? Thousand? Hundred thousand? Over three million. Three million, of course, yes. Uh, that's a lot. And do you know what each of these passengers share in common? They are all Armenian? Passports. I should know that one. Yes, of course, passports. But uh, we have communicated directly with the Armenian government. We have made an arrangement, a special arrangement. If there were an arrangement, surely I would know of this, yes? Yes, of course. There must have been a mistake. And who was this arrangement made with? I'm not supposed to say. It is an agent. His name is... Jiraira Vagian. Of the NSS? Impossible. Phone him. If I'm lying, I will leave peacefully. If you are lying, you won't go anywhere. Don't worry, Petras. Even when we are afraid, God is watching over us and preparing the way. Just like you said. Yes, hold on. Yes, yes. Yes, I proved it myself. Are the children on the plane? Sorry, sir. This is the first time hearing of this. How is this possible? The documents were sent priority to Officer Zakarian's desk two days ago. A Agent Zakarian has been on vacation since Monday. Now listen to me. Very carefully, Hakom. You must get those children on that plane. Their visas expire tonight. I will accept no excuses. You understand? Yes, sir. The children must be on this plane. But by now, I'm afraid... What is it? It is too late. It is already boarded. Then we must go. It is impossible. You cannot make it. With all due respect, officer, God is with us. So never tell me what we cannot do. Let's go. Hurry! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hurry! Children, run! Oh, run! Children! Go, go, go! Please, please. Three more. We have three more. Yes. These children absolutely must be on I'm this sorry. plane. There's nothing I can do. No, no. Of course there is. Yes. You can open this door. I'm afraid opening this door will not help. The airplane has already left the gate. It's preparing for takeoff. You must book another flight. There is no other flight. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. Don't worry. God is in control. He will make a way. Shh, no, no. Don't cry. Don't cry. Anush. Yes, my love. Why the plane is turning around? Why the plane is turning around? It is coming back. It is coming back. to go back to the hospital. I am exactly where I must be. No, you should be at the hospital. Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> okay, enough. <coughs> I missed the plane. We must get you back. No, please. Maybe they are on the next one. Then they will visit you in your room, as it should have been from the beginning. <coughs> You're a man now. You, you kept your brother and sister safe all these years. I'm so proud of you. Siron. You are a beautiful young woman. I can see you still have the tender heart. Love you, Mama. The children, Bill. They're with their mother. They're all the with their mom. Yes. All is well. I, I'm just happy, man. I I'm so happy for them. Bill. What? It's okay. It's okay to cry. Thinking about how tiny they are, you know? Now they're together. With their mom! <laughs> it's all right. Bye. Americans. 